Hello, I'm John Posey. My purpose in life is to impact the one who impacts many. I'm very confident in that. Why? Because I'm also a Proling's baby boy. My mother, who's 92 years old, was in the projects, five children, her husband in jail. She was at church and the preacher said, you don't have to live in the basement of your life. She realized she was. And at that point, she had made a decision to change things. She started going back to school and um, during that time, my father got out of prison. They were intimate, and he had to say it this way, but he cut the condom and showed it to her, and that the purpose was to stop her and to keep her from accomplishing her dream. So I was born to stop growth, but my purpose in life is to help people grow. So my mother, she was very, of course, very depressed about being pregnant, and she considered taking her life. She even threw herself down the steps to have a premature pregnancy, uh, but she realized that she needed to take me to full term, and she did. And when she, uh, when I was born, she realized that she was not going to see me, and so she caught the bus up to the church and put me on the altar and asked God to look after me. And she took me back home. I never saw my mother much, but she did, in fact, work 16 hours a day and got us out of the projects, bought a three-story home. And from that point, as I began to grow up, I began to become more aware of my purpose. So I really began to see the power of the gospel when my sister received Christ. And it was during that time that I really saw Jesus living through a person. And she invited me to church and I was there at the church and she shared a verse, a simple verse with me. I read the Bible, I've been in church. But this scripture said, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And when I read that verse, my eyes were open, and I saw that I was without God, that I was on my way to hell, and that I needed a savior, and that his name was Jesus. And I came forward and received Christ that day. And it was interesting, that evening they baptized me in water, and I came out of the water, I said, I'm clean. I don't know why I knew that, but I knew that my sins had been washed away and that I had a, an opportunity to begin to follow after God. From that point, when I received Christ, I started preaching the gospel and sharing my faith with people. I was almost expelled from school for preaching Christ. But I continued to do that, and uh, as I continued in my life, I ended up getting married uh, at, uh, at 20 years of age, and that's when I really began to see the scriptures come alive in my life. For me, the Bible is, is something to guide your life and to give you instructions and wisdom. And I learn how to apply myself and apply principles in my life. And all throughout my entire life, I've learned to follow Christ and I've learned to follow his lead. I've learned how to follow his leadership and even not even knowing how to raise a family, I learned how to raise my family. And all throughout the entire purpose, I began to develop my skills and develop who, who I was as a person. And if I was gonna say something to anybody, I would say the Bible is something, and walking with God is something that is personable and it's something that works in every area of your life. For me, every major step, the Bible says the path is as, as a, the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more to a perfect day. And that's what I've seen. I've had my ups and downs. I've had trials and tests and circumstances. But if I want to say anything to anyone, I would say that when you obey God, when the voice of God is the strongest voice in your life, then he will lead you into green pastures and still waters. That's my story. And I'm so excited to know Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior and to live a life for him and to follow after him with all of my heart and to obey him. And I want to be able to finish my course and finish strong and knowing that I'm a man who walked with God with global influence as I've served him to the very day that he calls me home.